At 5.05, the temperature in South Florida is 82 degrees. I'm Bill McQuig. For news, frequent weather, and exclusive jet copter traffic, it's 610 WIOD. Depend on it. And now, live to WIOD's new talk studio for a major news conference. Here's Vice President and General Manager of WIOD and WGTR, Mike Disney. I am extremely excited and proud to announce the signing of a major personality in South Florida to News Talk Radio 610 WIOD. Neil Rogers has agreed to join the greatest lineup in talk radio in the country starting next Monday morning. Neil will follow 13-year morning veteran Mike Ranieri at 10 a.m. each weekday morning. He will be the lead-in to the market's top afternoon drive talk host, Steve Kane. We believe this to be the strongest talk lineup, not only in South Florida, but in the entire country. The signing of Neil Rogers gives WIOD the market's number one morning, midday, and afternoon drive talk hosts. And with the Miami Dolphins and the Miami Hurricanes play-by-play, -play, it certainly makes WIOD the leading AM station in South Florida. Neil, congratulations. Welcome aboard. And now I'll let Steve Kane, Mike Ranieri, Glenn Hill, and you take over on 610 WIOD. Welcome. Well, that was impressive, wasn't it? Wasn't that fabulous? That Let's hear good. it from Mike. Now, what shift are you going to be on, Mike? <laughs> I think this man has a big future in broadcasting. He really does. Really great. Mike, sit down here. You sit down. All so right. your, your, your shift is safe, Mike. Wow. Well, Congratulations. I, wanted, I think there's been an oversight here when they said we're signing a single major personality. I think Dr. Glenn Hill's joining the staff, doctor? too. Doctor? Well, I made Dr. Doctor Hill. You look <laughs> like Dr. Hill? You look like a doctor with those glasses. You You've know. always said very kind things about me over the years, Steve. I certainly have noticed Just that. Just wait. And I meant every single one I of them because it. I mean everything that I say over the radio. Wow. More or less. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you aboard. Well, thank you, Steve. Isn't that exciting? It seems like only just moments ago we were on the air in this depressing, <laughs> morbid studio and just yeah. couldn't wait. The last half hour was like the last 20 years of my career, okay? It just went on and on and on. And I said, what kind of a douchebag place is this? See, we got that in there right away. <laughs> Right, to just douchebag. Do, do, do they do say douchebag? <laughs> See, now we're here saying douchebag, okay? How do you like that for oh, changing his image? Boy. I would never say douchebag. Okay. <laughs> We've only been never. here two minutes and already rubbing off on Rainier. This is here. a new era, Mike. That's a, this a new is the image. new thing. The Wait new till thing. This, Wait till you see the kind of crowd that's going to come hanging out in your uh, restaurant. <laughs> <No. laughs> just only, wait. Only thing I can say is, is, is I have heard, you know, from time to time, that maybe you've said some unkind things not true. about Moi. <laughs> not true. The only thing and we said, and I am proud of you, you know that he stood outside, seriously, he stood outside at studio window for 20 minutes getting that finger. That's the finger right out <laughs> of his left nostril. And I'm proud I've of heard, you, man. That, that, that I heard myself. <laughs> okay, Mike, that pick your nose. Okay, well, it's now my turn to oh, get even. Okay. This is exciting. Go I ahead, Mike. Well, let me just say this. Not, since, not let me just moment. Well, I want a period wait, wait, of time. Oh, I see. Let me oh, just, yeah. wait a minute. Can I say this? Yeah. Because, you know, Who I am... Who show do you think this is? I am the member of the group. Mr. Hotshot? I am Mr. Ego. Oh, okay. Mr. Ego, yeah. Do you know, when I I, do you know, that, do you know now when I introduce myself at the night at the uh, Miami Arena at the wrestling matches, I introduce myself as Mr. Ego Steve Kane. And they boo like crazy. They I certainly. Heard. <laughs> well, that's only because I say from WIOD the Miami Dolphins. And station. they really boo like crazy. Well, that's when yeah. they boo. See, okay. I kind of cover myself. Yeah. But what I was going to say is, as you know, Neil, I am the therapeutic one. I think it's important that in we're this not going to do therapy now, are no, we? No, come on, Steve. Save that till, for Monday. Do you remember the last time we did therapy? I ended up with no clothes on in the studio. Remember oh, that? Oh God, it was anyway. a frightening. Moment we won't relive that. We won't, won't relive that. We won't that, bring back little things, I think things, it's important okay? that we take this opportunity. Given the opportunity, Steve gets like a douchebag, doesn't he? I mean, uh, he's you're really right. getting Does into this. Right. Can I just say this? I think it's important that we get it all out on the table in this hour and yeah. all these hostilities, like, for example, the hostility, Mike, that you just expressed towards right. Neil. Now I is the no time hostility. to get it out there. And we can invite Patty Murray to come in, too, from the FM. <laughs> As a matter of strange, you should say that I suggested that. Let her get it out of her system. I did suggest that. I won't tell you what she said. Because <laughs> if it ever gets out of her system, and she can wear two sizes smaller, okay? I gotta tell she's you, she's a nice lady. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. I gotta tell you something. This is a Christmas party. We can charge admission for. I can promise exactly. you that. Yeah. Right. Anyway, is there anything you, Mike? Will you put out that? It's against the rules. Will you get the, the cigarette police in here, please, for this man? I'm allergic. This is a really a hostile act, Mike. Do you know that? Why are you hostile? It's not. I'm not being hostile. You were being hostile. Trust me. You're being paranoid. Trust me. Basically, a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> He's hung up on that word now. <laughs> 
you, you need this? Is it uh, you uncomfortable here? Yes. Okay, well, then smoke. I thought, well, that's, that's, that I'm was an honest answer. Smoke. That yeah. was an honest answer. He's uncomfortable. He would the... rather smoke than be in your presence. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, Mike. Anything and if I have to do both, I'll split the difference and smoke. I mean, uh... Hey, put that cigarette out. Get out of here. <laughs> now... So there's nothing you want to get off your... Tr Glenn... Did you say something about therapy a moment ago? Yeah, you're into... You You believe in that, don't you? Uh, now, does this have something to do with Michael DeSisto? Now, tell me the oh, truth. Oh, gee, don't I want you to know, Michael speaks very well of you, Neil. Does he really? He does very he well. Really? Yeah, he's a big fan now of you. Now, this means we get to meet Michael DeSisto, right? I, I, in absolutely. Exchange, wait a minute. Exchange we brought for you. Monday is going to be here in person in the studio. Dr. Vought <laughs> is <laughs> for Monday... And that'll be the end of this joint, I'm telling you. But right Michael there. actually would like to be a guest on the Neil Rogers Show. Would he really? To discuss good luck abuse. To him. Good luck to good him. Good luck to him. Monday, Monday, what, what, what can we look for Monday? What? Well, we haven't even told anybody anything. Now, did uh, Mr. Hotshot over here, did he tell anybody <laughs> what time I'm going to be on? Or did he? Yeah. You know, yes, he did. He did. You, yeah. Yeah. you did say that. He, he said you were going to be the lead I'm in. Because I aligned him, too. And I remember you're the lead He said you were going to be the lead in to the number one afternoon talk show. I take that back. It's nobody's perfect. Okay. Anyway, 10 to 2, right? You don't have Starting to show it to me. Don't start Monday getting morning. defensive already. I've worked for plenty of defensive management in this market. Trust me. Look what this happened to all is, of them. Uh, this is going to be... Can I say Dennis Collins on here? Can I just say that? What, what is it you would like to say about Mr. No, Collins? No, I, I just want to say the name. You just want to say the name? we're coming from an environment that we can't say anything, okay? Sure, get it all out of your system. This Dennis is the time. Collins. Doesn't say that it sound again. good? You yeah, say it one time. Dennis Collins. Wow. Anything else you want? How about Al Rantel? Alice Rantel. <laughs> oh, you can't. Don't be mean to no. And we don't, don't want to pick on to. Sandy because he worked with Sandy for a long time. And they still that's have right. this uh, incestuous Nine relationship. Nine to ten. Okay? You guys were on together. That's yeah, right. That's those, boy, those were the days. And I have a feeling that every now and then he thinks about Jack from the beach. Hello, <laughs> lovely lady. You know, I'm, I'm sure oh. once in a great while in his uh, deepest sleep, Jack from the beach's voice comes back <laughs> in the deepest recesses of his uh, whatever. I think you struck a nerve. Yeah, I think, I think uh, we struck a wrong nerve with that one. Correct. How can you tell? <laughs> because he's smoking two just at the same sits time. There impassively <laughs> and just he really stares. does puff on those cancer sticks. Really I mean, quick, I got to tell you, my whole nose. <laughs> I think we'll be morning. Is we'll be doing morning drive. Is this really, is this really irritating you? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I swear, I wouldn't kid you. I swear, I, I, I wouldn't joke you. I wouldn't joke you. It really is horrible for me. Oh, that's great. You love it, don't that's, you? Yes, you, I do. You're yeah. hostile. He's happy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is going to be interesting. This is, by the way, See, I, I thought you were the only one that was I don't want to sound like a butt licker and ingratiating, although today for a couple of minutes we will be. What the hell? But, uh, and then Monday we'll tell the truth. But the bottom line is this is the most incredible building. Yeah. This is a real and radio the only station. reason we came over here is because Mitch Ween is the chief engineer here, the best okay. engineer in America, bar none, okay? Trust me when I tell you. And I have worked with some of the most in, inept and incompetent engineers recently, as a matter of fact. Yes. And I just want to tell you that uh, it's paradise. This and that's why you came palace. over here? Yeah. I thought it was for the money. Well, I was a part of it, that yeah. Was a part of, and to work with me, the opportunity. That was a very be big part of it, because what the audience doesn't know is that Steve and I, for the past six months, have secretly been lovers. <laughs> and, uh, we might as well bring it out in the open. We on might that. as well. Now is the time to put it on the table. Exactly. All right. So to About speak. time. Yeah. Right. We are going to tell stories Monday. If you want to know what we're going to do Monday, we're going to tell stories that have been too hot for us to tell on Zeta 4. But we can tell them. Too hot? Well, yeah. Too hot. Like we're about the tooth fairy and stuff like that. I mean, no. anything was too hot for us to yeah. tell. No, we're going to tell stories that were just too sensitive to tell, that they would freak out and have uh, yeah. heart attacks. So we're, we can tell them on this air. And we are going to tell stories Monday. Steve, they will curl your hair. They really I cannot, will. absolutely cannot wait. In fact, yeah. i got to tell you one thing, guys. Now that you work here at WID, Mike mm -hmm. Disney, our very fine boss, and Bill Wise, total freedom. I mean, yeah. anything and everything. Bill Wise called me in the office the other day. He said, Steve, he's as crazy anything. as you want to get. You <laughs> yeah. can name the names, say whatever you want to say. Total freedom. As a matter of fact, I we know that Steve has got the George Carlin album queued up in the other room. <laughs> the seven the words. BAI case. Yeah, he's got it queued up. There's no problem. It's no, but be, we are. We're going to tell stories. It is going to be. Yeah, we could no, For those that already about what? About Tales of the Vienna War. Uh, our war days at Zeta 4. Things that went on behind the scenes the that no one knows. You know something? You're telling Ranieri this. He doesn't, he doesn't even know what Zeta 4 is, okay? Oh, that's I have no really idea. Were. No, Zeta he 4, even, I, he wouldn't I know where have to no find idea. it on the dial if he held a gun to his head. Obviously, Let's not too many other people did either, but that's, you know. <laughs> not in the morning. Only in the morning, right. though. Only oh, in, in the morning. morning. And, of course, they, they uh, your own children four. were listening to our station while you were on the air. Do you know we now have, this is an interesting thing. It just struck me.